Nobody covers the tight end as he's just invisible to the defense. And he just runs right down the middle of the field for a very easy one play touchdown. Within five yards, this guy realizes, oh, that's my man. And he's already gone. So I can throw the ball pretty much any time I can lob this ball up. And you can see he's just running right past this guy by about five yards for one of the easiest catch on one play touchdowns you're going to see. So this route is designed in a way that it's going to run into the cornerback every single time, making the cornerback lose acceleration, but not the receiver. That's just how the game is programmed for an easy one play touchdown against another defense for the fastest cheapest and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery check out my coin sponsor moxp.com and use discount code money shot for five percent off your order link in the description below welcome back money team this is mad money shot sniff with the mad cheese as always if you're playing man 24 right now you might realize that one of the metas is using matching style coverage defenses matching defenses like cover for quarters uh cover six Cover six invert, which is something that's really new and I keep running into a lot from a lot of top level players. And I even started using myself quite a bit. Uh, cover six trap and even things like cover nine, which is really just cover six flipped. These defenses are very difficult for players because a lot of people don't know how to score one play touchdowns against them. Or a lot of times they really can't figure out how to beat which side of the defense. Because you got a matching style on one side, which is basically half cover four. And the other side is basically half cover two. Or in the situations where you find stuff like cover six trap, it's just like a full matching defense, which really runs more like man coverage. And a lot of people just can't figure these type of defenses out. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys a very unique play that focuses specifically against these style of defenses, but also beats traditional defenses as well. The formation is once again the normal wide off close which if you guys follow this channel at all you this formation should look familiar because i've been running this formation probably going back to when it was installed a year or two ago as it's been one of my favorites as i've broken down this formation several times i even did a full breakdown of this already this year practice mode style so if you guys want to see more i'll have links to that popping up on screen the top right corner as well as in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video so stick around for that the play itself is the y sale and I'm gonna pick this play first just to show you guys uh, some dink and dunk style stuff that you can do with this play before I show you guys the one play touchdowns. This has been one of my favorite plays for a very long time. What the running back is doing, what I recently realized, is that this table route or this flat route that the running back is running, it really doesn't do anything from this position here, from the backfield. But I realized recently that if I motion him out, you can see that number one, it changes the route, especially if I'm on a hash mark. Like right now, I'm on a hash mark to the open side of the field. But if I motion it out to the other side, you're gonna see how this running back route really shortens to the point where it kind of becomes a different route. And that route is super glitchy in this game against matching style defenses, which I'm gonna show you right now. But before I do, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be subscribed and hit like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. I'm using my custom offensive playbook, but you can also find these plays in a lot of the team playbooks I put out, like the uh, Chicago Bears, which is one of my favorites that I put out all year. Now, when it comes to beating cover four, it's typically pretty simple. You typically have four deep coverage shell safeties and cornerbacks, and they're all going to cover an area deep. So one of the easy ways to do that is to create five deep routes so that one of the um, quarters typically have to turn and match, and there's an easy way to beat that. But for some reason, this play works very differently, where it's going to recognize what the running back is running as a 10-yard route, even though it's clearly not. It's clearly like a five or under route. So the only thing I'm really going to do to make this play work against most of these defenses, first of all, I'm going to put the Y route on a slant because I really just want to create a check down system for myself on the left side. But then I'm also going to put the A tight end on a streak and you're going to see how this is going to, however, uh, however it works, it's going to get pretty much forgotten as Goddard here just gets wide open over the center and he's going for an easy one play touchdown. Although I probably threw it a little bit earlier than I wanted to. Now you don't have to run it from a hash mark to the short side like I'm here, but I find that it works better. And it might be because the running back probably turns up field uh, a little bit quicker because of the sideline. I'm not really sure, but we'll check that in practice. But the bottom line is you can see how this tight end just gets completely forgotten. And you can see there's just nothing uh, covering him after about 10 yards. Now that plays super glitchy against cover four, but it works even better against those hybrid style defenses that I was talking about, like cover six and cover nine. So let's go and let's pick that. 
We're going to go ahead. We're going to match with cover six on the defensive side. So here's another play. Like I said, running it from a hash mark to the short side is probably going to be the best way to go. I'm going to do the exact same setup. I'm going to motion out the running back. I'm going to put my running back or my uh, wide receiver on a slant. And then I'm going to put the A tight end on the streak. Only this time, the B receiver is going to be the one that gets open. And you can see that the guy that's supposed to cover him immediately jumps to the flat before he realizes that he's supposed to man match this particular player. By then, it's way too late. Like I said, the matching principles of these defenses are actually pretty well programmed, but it almost has to be programmed before the play starts because this is an instant uh, one play touchdown. As you can see, within five yards, this guy realizes, oh, that's my man, and he's already gone. So I can throw the ball pretty much any time. I can lob this ball up, and you can see he's just running right past this guy by about five yards for one of the easiest catch on one play touchdowns you're going to see. And once again, the hash mark isn't really what's important here, is I can run it from either side. As you can see, this defense really gets stretched out by the fact that I motioned out that running back. And the B receiver is pretty much just going right away. So I can just lob that up for one of the easiest touchdowns you're going to get in this entire game. And it'll get to the point where your opponent's going to pretty much want to stop running this defense. And then last but not least, we'll do cover uh, cover nine, which is also, uh, you know, obviously it's just cover six flip. But let's show this as well. As you're going to see, it's going to work the exact same way. As I'm going to motion this guy out, I'm going to do the exact same setup and it's gonna work the exact same way only this time I think that uh, we're gonna be attacking the cover two side which makes the B receiver the better play one more time as we just scored a one play touchdown against every single matching style defense that there is this play can also have a lot of success with the exact same setup against a lot of different man coverage defenses so we're gonna go over to pick that we're gonna pick over storm brave on the next for a nice man zero blitz now I'm still gonna make the same adjustment with the slant and I still want to run it from a hash mark even though it's not hundred percent necessary but if you watch the guy the safety and coverage for the b receiver once i motion out this running back he actually comes down to a position where he's about five yards away which is what i want because i'm trying to beat him over the top so at this point if i were to change this play i mean i could put goddard on a streak one more time and have the exact same setup if i want to because i'm gonna be able to get this ball out pretty quick but if i really want to increase my blocking make the blocking better i typically put him on a block and release cross as this is going to give him an option to be a check down drag which will get open against man coverage but he'll also stop and block somebody to start the play but it doesn't really matter because, like I said, the B receiver really is the play. As you can see, he just gets outside of the safety or the cornerback that's in coverage based on the fact that that's just how the route's designed. And this all happens because that motion made this safety come down uh, to a five-yard depth. And he just can't switch and release to the point where he can really stay in stride with my receiver, who's only 93 speed. So imagine if this receiver was like a 97 speed or something like that. It'd be even crazier. The play also works against man coverage just like cover one. So let's go and let's pick cover one hole. Against man cover one, which is still a somewhat popular defense, I'm going to run from a hash mark just like I am once again. The motion is really important because, once again, it makes that cornerback drop down to about a four-yard depth. It almost looks like he's pressing at this point, which is exactly what I want. Now, at this point, I can just put the tight end on a streak, or I can put the wide receiver on a streak. It really doesn't matter. But I can use the exact same setup so that I have my check down system with the crossing Y and X route. And you'll see how the B receiver is just going to run into that defender once again and get released right through him, where I can basically get an easy catch and one play touchdown. Once again, only using a 93 speed receiver. I'm not using anybody ridiculously fast because the Eagles don't have that anymore. And this play works because this route is designed in a way that it's going to run into the cornerback every single time, making the cornerback lose acceleration, but not the receiver. That's just how the game is programmed. As the receiver does not lose acceleration, and now we'll run right past this guy for an easy one-play touchdown against another defense. So if that's, that's the video. I already put out a full breakdown of this offense a while back, uh, breaking this you know formation down against more traditional defenses like cover three and cover four, which I didn't cover in this video. So if you guys want to see more from this offense, I'll have a link popping up on screen. So just click the link. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.